Simplicity is about subtracting the obvious and adding the meaningful. John Maida. My friends, I'm doing this a little bit early just before the markets close, but right now stocks are mixed. Bonds, Bitcoin and gold are up. Let's jump first into these charts and see where things are as we start this week off with the weekly chart. We can see how last week we were pushing through that prior two week attempt to up move. This week we start off well below that prior trend line with a red down candle. We'll stretch this out a little bit. You can see no wick on top, wick on the bottom. This is just Monday. Doesn't mean it's going there, but we will keep our eye on things. We're paying close attention to what happened last week with all that volume. Look at that high volume. We haven't seen volume that high go since we go all the way back to the 12th of June. And you notice this 12th of June, you can see that's a big green candle. This is not. This is an anomaly. Whenever you see a doji or a spinning top like we see here, close to a doji, um, I would call it a doji, I guess. We can, we can open that up and see it a little better. And you can see it's more of a spinning top. But you can see where, again, it... I mean, you've got all of this movement and this tiny little candle in here with all that volume showing you the market was looking for some price, did not find it. And this week we start with it going down. Now we'll continue to watch as this progresses over the week. But that volume tells us a lot. If you've not taken our volume training, I'm going to put at the end of today's video again, the video we've done on volume. Also, you can go to chartingwealth.com and read the article I put in a couple of weeks ago. In fact, I shared it with everybody over the weekend who is a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, you need to go to chartingwealth.com and sign up. You get all of our trainings for free each and every day. You get an email with this daily review, the once a week weekly review and forecast and the special training we put out each and every day. Doesn't cost you anything. That list is never spammed. It's never shared. There's no reason for you not to be on it. So we're starting the week off with significant weakness. Looks like we may be getting ready to trundle down. Right now, up 0.05%. Now, that's five-tenths of 1%. The NASDAQ 100, which we go to next, as represented by QQQ, down 0.06%. Same kind of thing. It's punched through that weekly trend line. As you look at where we are on the two-day, you can see where it is in the profit and loss band there. You can see where the last two days we've had this down movement. So again, you can see where the markets are really burning off. Not as much volume last week in the weekly, but again, you can see where we have, you know, average volume at least. We hadn't seen that going all the way back 21st of August. And again, you know, a spinning top, almost a doji there. So we will keep our eye on things as this week progresses. Let's move on to bonds. Bonds are up for the day a little bit, just over half a percent, 0.58 percent. And you can see where we have a red down candle that's forming. Had about average volume this last week. You can see where the, the move down really started with that high volume and that red down candle. Then, of course, things went down. We had that week of a lot of questioning there. And then slowly, looks like bonds have been trying to move down again. Now, down in the morning, up in the afternoon, we're below that weekly trend line. So we shall keep an eye on things. Bonds, for me, still uncertain. But we will keep an eye on things. This two-day candle finished drawing. We'll finish drawing at the close of the market on Monday, which is one minute. And of course, what do we see there? We see a red down candle below the weekly trend line. Let's move on to gold. Gold up some for the day. Again, gold too is in one of those sideways slides with lots of questions as we look at gold. Huh, you know, we like it when the charts look more like the S&P has for many, many months. Gold has gotten sloppy as of late. Going up for three weeks, down for three weeks, up for a week, and then just sort of sideways since then. We're waiting for gold to establish itself and give us some idea 
as to what it's really going to do. Uh, again, you can see that we, we just don't even have the ability to draw any kind of accurate trend line on the weekly chart, nor the two-day. Uh, just a mess. So let's move from gold. We're waiting for it to straighten itself out. And again, if you don't have a trend, you don't have a trend, so you don't trade that stock or ETF, right? You don't make a practice trade on it when it's not working. And they don't always work. And when they don't, you don't have to trade them. That's the nice thing about not being a professional trader where you've got to trade things. You don't have to trade. So we'll wait for gold at least to set itself up nicely for us. Now, lastly, we go to Bitcoin. Boy, Bitcoin has blown through this one, two, three, four, five week candle. Now, a five week trend line. We can see the candle here at the end of the week, the doji. Now, again, you know, it's not telling us any great story. It's not telling us any story at all with the volume here because the volume very low. Uh, but we do have things appearing to turn around. Again, we will continue to wait, watch, and see what they tell us, uh, what it tells us as things move along. We do have four days of up movement here on the NASDAQ 100, hoping that again, if the NASDAQ's getting ready to go up, sorry, not NASDAQ, Bitcoin, if Bitcoin's getting ready to go up, that it will go up in a manner that we can actually track and trace it. I sure hope that it is going to do that. So that is where we are, looking like we might have some up move underway on Bitcoin gold, indeterminable right now. Looking for 20-year bonds to give us a signal if they're going to continue down. Of course, we're looking for a potential rollover on the NASDAQ 100 and the S&P 500. Looks like we're in for an interesting week. Thank you so much for being with us, my friends. Always love to hear from you. CW at chartingwealth.com. If you appreciate what we do here for free, you'll even appreciate more becoming a Patreon supporter. The first thing you'll get is our course Options Made Simple, the Charting Wealth Way three-part series. If you're interested in learning about options so you can start practice trading them and gaining expertise in that, I encourage you to support us. God bless. All the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.